Mr. Olympia, okay? And my fiance, the girl I was gonna marry, left me for my training partner. And I was shocked, I was startled. I'm like, oh my God, four months to go and I can't train. I'm, I'm messed up, I'm hurt. And somehow I gotta, you know, I gotta get through this. I wanted to go over and just kill the guy. I thought I was gonna put a dumbbell through his head, you know? But I'm like, is that really the answer? No, I don't think that's gonna work. I probably won't be able to enter the Olympia, then I'll probably be in jail, okay? And for some reason that year, all the hurt went into my training. I just opened the door up to Gold's Gym arms would grow. Every exercise I did worked greater than ever. The hurt, the pain, the, 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 the terrible trauma, life drama and trauma turned out to be the best thing in the world for me in 81. I look back at the arm tearing in 1982, uh, the bicep tearing, it was the best thing that ever happened. Anything negative that happened to me turned out to be an opportunity in disguise. And I look at life that way. It's hard to understand it at that time, but I always find, I always find years later it was the best thing that ever happened. Okay, so that's the way I sort of handle things. That's the way I look at things. Squeeze it! Squeeze it!